Well, I think it partly relates to Shaw um, because Shaw brought a, a different type of tourist to our community almost from the beginning, um, from big cities, from very classy, neat people. Not that tourists should be based that way, but they were different. Um, their expectations were a little higher, and the opportunities to serve those kind of uh, expectations were also higher. So that's how it started to change. I'd say the 80s, uh, we could really feel uh, the important role of the Shaw Festival. And even from the 70s, uh, as a business person, the our season depended on Shaw. If they had a bad play, we, we would see our customers coming for dinner after not in a good mood, didn't like the dinner as much. I mean, it, it was that closely tied uh, to Shaw. So I keep saying Shaw was the change. Well, the change actually was in the customer base, the kind of people that would come and say, wow, this is such a great town. We want to live here. So a lot of people started getting at least second homes in the Niagara area. Um, and uh, and I co sort of keep thinking it's Toronto. It's as much Buffalo. I mean, Niagara Lake was really formed from Buffalo, not from Toronto. And uh, so all the great homes and Nicky Phillips' home and Calvin's estate and all of those, the rail line that used to come down uh, just to service those big American homes from Buffalo, <coughs> those are the kind of things that we had a great character to start with, and then Shaw enabled it to develop into uh, something quite spectacular.